Morning, everyone. How's everyone doing on this Friday morning? A little after 10, mountain time. Nice and relatively sunny day here today, which is quite a bit different than the last couple of days. So as you notice, I'm driving. That's why I'm not really looking at the phone. I'm paying attention to the road. But I wanted to come on and talk about a couple of things. One of them hit me really hard this morning. Um, why do you do what you do? Do you remember why? Do you really remember your why? This morning I was spending time with my, my family. They were just playing and tickling my son and whatnot. And as I was with them, I looked at them and I thought to myself, this is why I do what I do. These two people right here next to me. And then I realized how, how many times do we really forget why we're doing what we do? And to go along with that, you know, sometimes we get so caught up in helping people that we forget that we're helping people. If that makes sense, you know, we're, we're so caught up in helping them, you know, whatever it may be, you know, um, for me in the financial industry, helping them get savings in place or retirement in place or, or whatever. You know, I'm so busy making sure the paperwork's done. Sometimes I get so busy, you know, making sure that the the policy is set up or whatever, that I forget that I'm helping a family. It, it if we're not careful, it, it becomes like they're just a number, unfortunately. You know, and that's not to say it's intentional, and we're, we're certainly not doing it on purpose. You know, but sometimes we get so caught up in helping people that we forget that we're helping people. You know, so how do you make sure that you remember that you're helping people, that you're serving people? And that, and that you remember your why. I, I think for me it goes, you know, making sure that relationship is there, I, being sincere and wanting to help people, even if even if it's not a good fit. You know, there several instances in not only my industry but several other industries where the best way that we can help them is to refer them to someone else. Or another example, again, me in the financial services industry, you know, there's sometimes where the case is that the best scenario for them for that time is to not make any changes. You know, it wouldn't make sense to go from, let's say, policy A to policy B because, you know, it wouldn't be worth the fees, for example, or the the time window, per se, you know, policy is a, some policies are good if you're locked in it for 10 years, but some of my clients want to use that money in three years, so it wouldn't make sense to lock them in a 10 year, you know, or just another analogy on a road trip. It wouldn't make sense to, you know, take an airplane 
if you're driving only 15 miles. You know, so... If that makes sense. You know, sometimes the best way to help them is to... Well, always the best way is to, of course, be upfront and honest and do what's best for the client, but... You know, even if that is, let's let's keep it as it is for right now. Or, you know, this is somebody that I think will be a, a much better fit than me, type of thing. But, remembering why you do what you do. You know, as long as it's moral, ethical, and legal... If you remember your why, then then you'll remember why, and it won't just become a job, and the people you serve won't just become just another client or a number or whatever, a customer, you know, and, and remember that don't get too caught up in serving people that you forget that you're serving people. I, that, uh, those two things hit me this morning, you know, because there, there are times that I don't want to do anything. You know, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to fill out any paperwork. I don't want to do anything. But then I remember why, why I'm doing it. And I, I also think, you know, by truly serving my clients, they'll be able to better serve their family and serve others. You know, and I want people to to feel the relief that I've felt in knowing what I know and the help that I've received. You know, I want others to have that. So, again, um, I'd love for you to comment below, how do you remember your why? And how do you remember that you're serving people you know, not get caught up in the busyness of it all, the mundane of it all, that you forget that you're serving people. You know, I'll take another example. It's like going to a restaurant. If if the, the server takes your order, brings you your food, says, hi, I'll be your server tonight, what can I get started for you? You know, then as soon as you're done, they move on to the next table, which is their job, yes. But if that's all they do, I don't feel the the hospitality, the connection, as if they were to, hey, how's it going? I love your, I love your your shirt, your hair, whatever. You know, or just in conversation, if you talk about a school you're going to, or you know, uh, a sport or hobby or something, you know, maybe a little bit of conversation about that, you know, and of course I understand that they have a job to do and they have other people and quotas and things like that, so don't get me wrong on there, but, you know, if, if, if they take a minute to, you know, to have a a sincere conversation, even briefly, you know, I love that sport, I, I play that all the time, or, you know, I, my, I went to that school, or whatever, you know, well, whatever it is, and actually serve the people you're serving, that feels more that's more, more of a connection. You know, I'm, 
if I go back to that restaurant with that server, I'm going to ask for that server again. Say, hey, I want a table where this person's the server. Because I feel like I'm welcome there. I feel like there's a bit of a bond, if you will. And so when you're fulfilling your passion and stuff and you get run down, you're burned out, whatever you want to call it, a lot of naysayers, negativity, you're going through a hard time. Go back and really focus on your why. Why you started that. 